Hello, everyone, and thank you for standing by. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and welcome to BuzzBack's latest webinar, Wooing the Premium Consumer. During the presentation, all participants will be in a listen-only mode. However, you may submit questions at any time today by typing them through the chat feature located to the left of your screen. We'll be fielding questions at the end of the presentation, so if you want to go ahead and use that, feel free. And as a reminder, today's call is being recorded and will be offered at the conclusion of today's event. Now I would like to take this time to introduce you to Tatiana Gormley, Research Director at BuzzBack. Tatiana has been with BuzzBack since 2005, designing and managing many studies, including ANUs, package naming and concept evaluations for some of BuzzBack's top clients. An expert in the utilization of BuzzBack's creative enabling and projective techniques, Tatiana brings over three years of supplier-side marketing experience from Brazil. Fluent in three languages, she holds a BA in communications and marketing from McKenzie University in Brazil, and a master's in business and market research from Fairfield University. Tatiana, please go ahead. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, in the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to be going over the findings for a premium study. But first, let me give you a little bit of a background on BuzzBack in case you're not too familiar with us. We work with about half of the top 50 CPG companies and 10 of the top 20 global pharmaceutical companies. And most of our clients are coming to us to help them understand their consumers, be that general consumers, patients, doctors, and so on. And we do so by creating studies that um, have uh, some differentiating techniques in order to get a, a deeper consumer uh, understanding or associations with their products and so on. And a little bit of a background on why premium and how this came about. Uh, a few years ago, we did a study on natural and what it means to consumer and why. And we had over 200 client requests for the free white paper. Um, so not only were consum or companies from the food and beverage industry asking for that information, but from a variety of categories like even personal care, tobacco, even pay less, it was asking for the white paper. So we decided that um, that kind of lexicon of investigation approach was interesting to clients. So we asked most of you, what are some of the top words that would be interesting and most important to you to learn about? And last year, we had over top 18 um, words that we were talking about um, that were interesting. So we approached uh, interviewing about healthy and sustainability, and this year we are going to focus on um, premium. And why is that? It's just because more and more we're seeing that a lot of you are trying to create that idea of premiumness for your products. But what does it mean to consumers, and how can you get that? Uh, is a, your product or service within a, can actually can it actually achieve that premium territory? Right. What you're seeing on the screen is just an example of one of the top CPG companies in their approach to getting to premium. So you start by uh, creating your core products, then getting into new territories, and later on, then you're going to try to get to that additional smaller space of premiumization. And why is that, right? So how are we going to determine uh, why premium and what premium means? When we asked you guys or our top clients what is it that they wanted to understand about premium, some of the key things that came to uh, mind were what are some of the differences between premium and luxury? Uh, is premium defined differently across different categories? Can one brand be more premium than, in, than in another? And are there any cues that will suggest premium, like for example, pack characteristics on shelf and so on? So those were all questions we kept in mind when developing this study. And we'll get to that kind of information by using an approach that uses imageries for associations to try to get not just at the functional associations, but also at the emotions. And then later on, we will investigate any kind of products and categories and even brands that were associated with a premium. And we do that by uh, using visual associations and some projective and enabling techniques. 
So now um, let me give you a little bit of a background on who um, we interviewed and where. So we focused on four different markets. Uh, those are some of the top markets that many of our clients uh, are focused on. So we have Brazil, US, UK, and China, and we had about 400 interviews per market. But aside of where we were going to conduct the interviews, we also wanted to make sure that when we are using the word premium in the U.S. and U.K., it's very simple, everybody is familiar with it, but can we actually use a similar word or a translation in Brazil and in China? So we actually conducted uh, some internal research. I'm actually from Brazil, so contacted some people back um, home as well as some of our translator partners to make sure that the words would be appropriate. And what we actually discover is in Brazil, the word is used in English and not its actual translation. So that's the word that we use in there, and then in China, we use the appropriate translation. And I was, as I was mentioning a couple of minutes before, um, with, as with every research study, um, we also had some partners to conduct uh, this project. Uh, just for a little bit of fun, and now I'm going to show you a little video and see if you can guess what is it that uh, we are showing you. So um, that was actually a short video of some of the brands that consumers in China told us that they mostly associate with premium beverages, be that uh, just regular beverages or um, alcoholic beverages. So just a quick snippet um, out of curiosity, right? So to get into what premium is, we first had participants uh, create their own what we call buzzback e-collage. And what the Buzzback Ecolodge does is that it allows respondents to, and I'm sorry, you're having a little, oh, there you go. Uh, you will see in the background that the Buzzback Collage is designed to help uh, respondents use images as catalysts to talk to us about what are some of the associations, emotions that come to mind when they think about the word premium when buying a product. That helps us get at a deeper level of associations and understanding um, and give us a little bit more detail on what those associations with premium is. So as you can see, they can pick a background color Color. They can pick uh, images from a library that we provide with a, about 100 images, and those are varied in themes and, and emotions just so we don't bias the results. Um, but once they create their e-collage, then um, we ask them to explain the collage to us. And what you can see in this next page is just some of the images that were used for this specific study. And those are always very customizable, depending on what is it that we're asking respondents about. Now let me show you a couple of the examples of collages that were created by respondents, right? So we said, why, what comes to mind? And we saw a variety of themes from, for example, uh, using great ingredients, raw materials, workmanship, and experience into creating and developing products to things that are a little bit more around being a top of the line, reliable, sort of like your number one brand. Um, and there's even uh, the extent of saying premium is the finer things in life. Um, but aside from that, some of the more unexpected associations, right? So eating well and healthy is also premium. Starting to get to a little less obvious associations by the use of the images. Um, and here you can see we created uh, image clouds with the top images that were selected in each of the markets to represent their associations with premium. The larger the image, the higher the selection. And what was interesting in here is that you see that idea of a VIP treatment, for example, playing uh, up very strongly in the US, UK, and Brazil. And yet in China, we're seeing a lot more images about nature. So what does that mean? 
When we ask them to explain their collage, we're seeing that in U.S., U.K., and Brazil, we have a little bit more of a similarity in terms of associations. They're all focusing on quality. Is really high quality, is the best quality, is a reliable uh, quality product. And also that idea of being a reward or a VIP treatment, something that is special. But when we start looking at some of the 